Hello. The purpose of this instruction video is to demonstrate how to initiate a clearinghouse renewal in the clearinghouse results website. Per Florida statute, retained fingerprints must be renewed every five years in order to maintain eligibility for employment. To maintain the retention of fingerprints within the clearinghouse, the employer must request a clearinghouse renewal through the clearinghouse results website prior to the retained prints expiration date. By initiating a clearinghouse renewal through the clearinghouse results website, the current fingerprints retained on file at the Florida Department of Law Enforcement will be resent to the FBI, allowing for an updated criminal history to be processed by the clearinghouse. If the employer does not initiate a clearinghouse renewal and employee's prints will no longer be retained, the employee's eligibility determination will expire, and the employee will have to be re-fingerprinted at a live scan service provider at an increased cost to comply with background screening requirements. Employers will receive notification of upcoming expiring retained prints for those employees listed on the employee slash contractor roster. If you don't yet have access to the Clearinghouse Results website, you must first register on the portal and receive access. Please see the Clearinghouse User Registration Guide for registration and login instructions at http colon forward slash forward slash aca dot myflorida dot com slash background screening. If an employee is on your employee slash contractor roster and their retained prints expiration date is within the renewal window, their information will display in the Employees with Expiring Retained Prints table on the home page. You can renew an employee by selecting Renew or their last name. The search page allows you to review the eligibility status of an individual if they have undergone a screening or if they have a screening in process in the clearinghouse. If the individual is not found, a screening may be initiated from this page. If the individual is found, their profile page will appear. To search for an individual, you must enter the individual's social security number and last name or date of birth. It is recommended that you only put either the last name or date of birth. Then select search. If the individual has a screening in the Clearinghouse Results website, their profile page will appear. To initiate a Clearinghouse renewal for an individual, select the Initiate Renewal button. Please note the Initiate Renewal button will only display if the employee is within the renewal window. The Check OIG List page will only be displayed if it's required by your agency. When you select the OIG Search button, you will be redirected to the OIG's website. Follow the instructions to search for the individual and complete the OIG LEIE search. Close the OIG website and return to the BGS OIG search page. Check the affirmation box to confirm the search was conducted and select Next to continue. The National Nurse Aid Registry page will only be displayed if it's required by your agency. The National Nurse Aid Registry is a web service that allows providers to check multiple state nurse aid registries at once. If a match of the applicant is found on a participating state's registry, to confirm the results, use the provided hyperlink on the registry research page to perform a manual search of the registry. The registry check and its results are provided for informational purposes only and have no bearing on agency eligibility determinations. Select Initiate Renewal to continue. To ensure the appropriate criteria is applied during the screening review, the position type and the reason for screening of the individual must be entered. First, select the provider that the individual is employed by from the drop-down list. Please note the provider drop-down list will only display if you are accessing the website on behalf of multiple providers. Select the employee's position from the drop-down list. Select Next. You will now begin the process of paying for the clearinghouse renewal. The cost of a clearinghouse renewal is $42 plus a service fee. Payment options are by credit card or e-check. To pay for the clearinghouse renewal, select the payment method and then select Pay Total Amount to continue. Please note that all clearinghouse renewal payments will be collected by the Agency for Healthcare Administration. The red banner message at the top of the page is for informational purposes only. Enter the payment information in the fields marked with red asterisk. Pre-populated fields can be edited. 
Once the information has been entered, select Continue. Verify the payment information and select Confirm. It is important to note that payment information will not be saved. Select Submit Renewal Request to complete this request. An email confirmation and receipt will be sent to the email address on record. Once the screening request is submitted, you will be directed to a confirmation screen. Select Home if you are done or Initiate New Screening to initiate a new screening for another individual. Once a Clearinghouse Renewal Request has been submitted, the request will show on the Screenings and Process section on the Person Profile page and an informational message displays indicating no further action can be taken until a determination has been made. An email notification will be sent to the email address on record once a determination has been made and the retention of fingerprints has been extended. This concludes our training on how to initiate a clearinghouse renewal on the Clearinghouse Results website. Thank you.